Hello everybody and welcome back to our look at Flotsam. This is video number two and we are in day number four now of our little adventure. Um, we are, we've, we've just about managed to secure a supply of, um, of, of food, albeit in the form of some incredibly horrible looking fish who uh, still come with the bottles on them. And I'm assuming our people have got to break their teeth to eat them. And then after we've, um, we've then completed, so we've got research station now, we seem to have something here that's, that's something with fresh water, although I'm not entirely convinced that this is actually doing anything. But there's nothing in here to suggest otherwise. Um, and yeah, our big thing now is, is, is food. But we have now just started to secure our awful quality fish. Um, I think we've recovered our seaweed, haven't we? Yes, we have. We're going to go over there to the rural ruins and see what's what over here. Uh, we've got some metal scrap. So let's get salvaging on that, everybody. Hopefully they'll all go. So let's make it nice and quick. They are, in fact, all going. That's good news. So I think we've effectively run out now of raw resources to produce anything. So... Having them all go over to the island to get cracking with this makes makes life good because this is going to make this nice and speedy, and we can start. I think we're just going to focus on actually visiting a lot of the islands. We've got a good stock of of floaters and wood right now, so we can build whatever's next. I probably will turn on the research station fairly shortly because we turned that off just because we wanted to focus people on other things. And I would also turn on the f on the fish as well, but we we're, we're at the point now where we've just got we've got too many jobs and not enough people, effectively. So that person there, so Mishmash is going over for the last time. How close are they to leveling up again? Barnacle seems to be leveling up at a slower rate compared to the other two. Scuttle Scuttlebutt is leveling up quickly. Okay, right, where are we going from here? Oh, there's something... Right, let's wait for this guy to get back on the boat. Okay, he's back on the boat. I'm going to head down this way just because there's this eye thing above it. No idea what it means. Church. From here we'll be able to... Oh, okay, we can scout the region. We're recovering energy? Is that because we've... We've parked a, a landmark effectively. Is that how you recover energy if you don't have the ability to do it yourself? I mean, that's pretty cool. So is that is it? Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. So the question is then, is how... How do we... How do we get other dudes? We need more dudes. Uh, right, we're gonna turn that on. So this oh, this guy's doing it. Okay, so he's he's actually manually doing it. Are you the best person to do the research? No, I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Who I can't select. Okay, he's doing his thing. What about you? What are you doing? Uh, not a lot, so, okay, you can go fishing then. So is this doing anything at all? Okay, right, so it is slowly going up, so there you go. So it has actually created a fresh water for us in storage. Uh, do, so we've got some fresh water, so do we need... So we must already have one of those. Okay, so maybe the downside of that one is just that it's just incredibly slow. Uh, braise seaweed into rope. We don't need to worry about that for as far as I know. We don't need to worry about that for the moment We don't have any more raw resources um, So we, we're surviving in so much. Oh rescue. There you go That's where we're going So does the smoke coming out the top is that an indication that there are people living there? Right Where is the town? Yes, here you go, look. 
So recycling didn't fail. People did. I had an easy way to avoid the first fires and kept creating mountains of trash anyway. This drifter just tries not to be resentful. They hold on to hope. They're really good at crafting. So you're definitely coming our way. To be recycled. To be recycled. To be rescued. Mr. Foambeard. And we've also got some firewood. And a little bit of dry wood. So I'm going to send two people over to do that. Right. Can we... Research station. Right, yeah, we turn that off. We turn that off. We turn that on again, and hopefully... He, because he's better, he's the better person at research. He will uh, be the man... Oh, no, he's, he, no, he's going over there, fine. But he is the man to go to research. I'm sure he is. Yes, look, oh, and he's leveled up again, so we can give him something else now as well. Give him athletics. A bit more movement speed. Right, is he coming to do it now? Right, he's on. He's on the research. Right, you bugger off. Have we rec have we recovered? We've recovered everything from there now. Right, okay, so we're good now on that. He's doing the research, which is better. We've now got four people, so we're going to need to build another bed, as well. And we probably now need to go and find some more resources. So we're going to head over. This way, because there's a lot of resources over here. Oh yeah, look at that. Lovely old job. Loads of plastic. 40 plastic, 3 floaters just from that. Mishmash has leveled up, so what we're going to give you, we're going to give you... Uh, what shall we give you? We'll give you one for salvage. salvage. So Scuttlebutt, you're, you're good at crafting. So you should be doing that. You're also good at research, which we've given you. And we're also going to make you a priority for that. So for Barnacle, construction is your, is your stuff. Uh, what's that? Liquid handling, yes. Salvaging, you should also be doing a bit of as well. Mishmash, anything athletics-wise... Uh, um, what does athletics do? Is that just general movement around? Okay, and the production speed. So we can probably do... Affected by athletics. There you go. So you're going to be better at doing that. And foam beard. You're an amazing crafter. So actually, you should be doing that. If we do it all like that, hopefully that means these people do the correct jobs. And what do we want to build next? Storage-wise, we're okay. Could build a rope crafter. A rope crafter is realistically the only thing we've got left to build until we start unlocking stuff. So, uh, right, we will turn... How much... Uh, okay, we can keep going. We can keep going with the bottled fish for the moment. Twelve of them floaters. We've got loads of uh, stuff. We could do rope crafter, couldn't we? Because you never know when we might actually suddenly need it. Mishmash leveled up. No, you already have. Oh, the research is now complete on the bottler. So what do we need for that? We need two electric scraps. Okay, how do we get electric scraps? Turns electric scrap. So electric scrap is obviously another base resource that we need to find from somewhere. Right, we've got a bit of a problem now because we've only got three food. But there is nine bottled fish there. Poor Barnacle. Was that Barnacle? Poor Barnacle. Yeah, stay in bed, love. You've earned it. You were building until the crack of dawn. Right, they're going to eat their horrible, horrible food. 
and they will continue to finish off that we've also got i think there's some wood around here we've got some some more seaweed there we've got some fish there i thought there was also some wood around here Apparently not. Right, what we got over? Oh, we got some electronic scrap here, so that could come in handy. Yes, not all drifters got food today. I'm aware of that. There is some food there, though. Canned food. That's massive. And we got some more books. I really wish I knew what those books were for. I might have to do a Google. Article was leveled up. Give her another one to construction, so that makes her 45% construction speed. Obviously, the big thing about this now is that we need to get that canned food. That So that two canned food that's over there it, it means that we will be able to feed everybody at the end of this day, which is which is good news. We've got, we haven't got enough water, though. What about this thing? Maybe we need to build more of, more of those. That's taking a long time to produce anything, isn't it? Deconstruct. We need to deconstruct that so that we can do more with it. Okay, we've done that. Phone beard is leveled up. Uh, what do we want to give him? Let's make him move around a bit quicker. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to do that and then we're going to bring things out that way. Like that. And we're gonna build one, two, and we can only build two. But that's what that's what we need. And then while we're at it, we then need to build one of these. As well. So a lot of construction going on at the moment. Which is why we're speeding things up. That risk reward of trying to find that fourth person. It's its not biting us just yet, but it's threatening to. Right, so this... Is not linked to any other... It leads energy. Okay, link. I don't know how to do this. Is it too far away? We're <laughs> just going around in, in circles. How you link? I mean, the the cable can. Oh no, it can't. It can't reach that far. Okay, what now then? So do we need? We need that. So that, that's what we need to increase our uh, food quality. Uh, but right, time to find some more plastic and wood waste then. How's he doing on the on the research? So is this taking up books? So I'm going to see what happens when that gets to the end there. What happens? Does it use one of those nine books at the top? Okay, no, it does not. So I'm still none the wiser about what those damn books do. But we've got enough food. Scuttlebutt's leveled up. Construction, he's minus one apparently on construction. I don't particularly mind that because he's, you know, that's not what you're here for. That's fine. Um, what shall we do? We'll give you an extra one for research because speeding that process up is going to be important. So somebody hasn't been able to drink, but everybody will be fed. We've unlocked the electricity pole. And we need more electric scrap for that. So, what we're going to do, we're going to head down there. I think that was the salvage marker that's now completely finished. So wait for him to come back on board, and then we'll move on this way. Two people go and gather all that wood. And where is this thing? So, what, what's here? We've got some electric scrap, we've got some metal parts, some wood and dry wood and some plastic. Cool. That is a good haul. Okay, a second trip there, we'll sort that out. These do take an unbelievable amount of time, don't they? Are they, are they one a day? Is that what they are? Because we're going to be in big trouble from a water point of view if we're not careful. 
So we need we need some more wood planks quite badly because we're gonna we're gonna need a freaking farm of these things, these solar steels, unless we can come across. So what's the time? Yeah, so we'll have one. We'll have another opportunity to go to the other island here, the Seagull Islands, to uh, to try and see if there's any fresh water over there. I don't know whether like certain types of islands. You know, there seems to be like. Uh, I've seen bookstores, I've seen Seagull Islands, that, you know, that sort of thing. I don't know whether they're indicative of what resources are on the island, if that makes sense. Like, if, if you see a Seagull Tower, you know instantly that there's going to be food there or, you know, whatever it may be. Um, so, how many, how many things are on this? That was 15, 17, 19, so still f effectively four more journeys to clear this place. Uh, foam beard is leveled up. Um, we will give him. Since he's doing that right now, he can he can do that and speed up and increase the productivity of the job that he is currently doing. Storage is also becoming a bit of a problem here. I mean, I think we're going to have to just do just do that. Doesn't cost us very much. On the f it's only the floaters it costs us, but we we should be able to get a fairly steady supply of those pretty soon. Right, how many more trips? Two more trips to finish off that island. Everybody has now decided that their roles on the uh, ship are now more important. Hopefully, these things aren't going to take that long, especially with um, Barnacle doing her thing. So again, we'll speed up. Gives us 20 extra storage, these little things. Nice. Gives us an extra 60% storage, effectively. How many more did I say? So there's two more journeys to completely fill this place. And we're going to be pushing our luck to get um, over to that other seagull place to see if we can get some stuff from there. To the seagull nest to see what these things are. This could be a waste of time, or there could be something in it. All oh, right, so we can actually rescue the seagulls. All oh, right, we can hear one. Do we see it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's just on the top there, chilling. Oh, he's got a bit of plastic around his around his throat. Don't worry, Mishmash is on her way. So, have we got anybody who's any good? So, what do we get? So, Stefano joins Bottlegate. So, he's what does he do? Then? Does he just chill? So he hasn't got a home to go to because we don't have anywhere uh, for him to go, I don't think. Birdhouse. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately that was not... That did not give us what we wanted. We can go and get another seagull this way. Oh, is that... What's that? Water tower, okay. So these churches where you can actually go and uh, see all the landmarks, it's like those things in Assassin's Creed, isn't it? And you climb up to the top and do the eagle view, eagle vision, whatever it is, to see all the landmarks around, and then you jump off into a pile of hay from 150 feet. Right, so this water tower. Yes, there we go, right. So does the bird go and join in? Nothing to do at the moment. Obviously he can't go and salvage that. I'm assuming he, he only go and... Unless he... Maybe he's the guy who can go and salvage the fish. Let's see if he can... Can you do anything about this? Nope. He doesn't want to do anything about that either. So 
Maybe then he... So what? Or can he not do anything until we create a birdhouse? So these things are almost done. So we might just get with the... How many water was on here? Six water, I think it was. Plus those two. So that will give us enough food, enough water for two days. Which is huge. And we still don't have enough um, plastic floaters to build any more of these things. Um, but do we have enough now for the pole? Yes, we do. So we can put the pole like there. In the morning when they wake up. And then hopefully... That will allow us to link this to that. But that I'm assuming then that is going to start to eat into the existing... Not all drifters got water, I know, but that's fine. We'll get some tomorrow. So we can link it to that. And then that link to that. There you go. Okay. Right, so take all them bottled fish. And whack them in there. My barnacle leveled up. Let's just slow it down for a sec. Um, so I mean, these are the debuffs caused by the fact that she hasn't had any water, is what I'm guessing. Um, so what do we want to give barnacle? I mean, construction is such a big thing. But we need to get them all fed, basically, and watered. Right, uh, so that is now salvaged. That's good. So, how do you go about... So, the ingredients for this are, for, are what, exactly? Bottled fish, right. Creating unbottled fish. Oh, right, we just need to do that, don't we? Forgot we have to add it to the queue. And then these, then... We change these to then start doing this. Which creates a lot less pollution. So they actually, so they have to work. Right, so somebody has to work. So yet again, uh, right, we also need to build another one of those. Uh, right, we need, to, we need to move on. Uh, let's go... What is that? Wrecked cars on the rocks. There should be lots of metal scrap over here. So and we can also test out the theory with the bird as to whether he can go and claim the fish. Because if he can just go and get fish for us, that would be quite helpful. Okay. Right, okay. So those birds are absolutely useless then. Also, rather concerning these, we are fighting a losing battle with our electricity. It would appear that a single unbottler device is consuming more electricity than we're able to generate with that thing. That is a bit of a concern. We got here two batteries, electric scraps, and more wood and bits and pieces. That's fine. Send people over to go salvage. Also doesn't help that the guy doing it, producing energy, is on minus, minus two. So he's probably producing absolutely no energy here whatsoever. Hmm, we're a bit of a crossroads here. So obviously we want to increase the quality of the fish that we're producing, but it seems like that is coming at the at the cost of energy because we just cannot create enough of it. Um can we create a fishing boat actually? What was the uh fishing boat this thing? Let's see if we can't do that. And then we can just go out here and just catch these fish. Which will take the stress away from having to use this damn unbottler. 
and also the 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 trade off again. I mean, the constant trade off with these games obviously is balancing the number of people with the amount of food and water you can produce. But also another consideration is that the more people you have, and the more jobs they do, the more research points they get, the more of these advanced technologies and buildings that you can acquire. So, yeah, it's a, it's a constant balancing act. And it's one of the reasons why I love these sorts of games, because there's always something to consider. There's always something to think about. Every decision has, you know, it's like the, you know, the whole uh, every, every uh, action has an opposite and equal reaction or whatever the saying is. Um, it's exactly the same here. You make one decision that has potential ramifications somewhere else. It might fix one problem, but you're probably creating another. Even if it's not straight away, at some point, that decision will have ramifications on something else. So anyway, we've got enough food anyway for the time being. Um, but it appears we've got enough food anyway for the time being for a few days. We've got water enough for for one day. By the time these things have finally finished churning out some water, we'll have a second day. I mean, these things are un unbearably slow, aren't they? I don't quite understand why it's... Is there a... There's no counter on actually how long it takes. No, no apparent way of speeding it up either. And that unbottler really, really goes through the um, the energy that we produce. Which is going to be a problem, because at some point we're not going to be able to move this boat somewhere to go and get more resources. Okay, so that's done. Marshmallows leveled up. Um, what do we want to give you? We'll give you an extra athletics, given the job you're currently doing, just to try and speed that up a bit. It is now bedtime. An interesting day. How do we get on in the research in the end? Half... Almost bang on halfway. Right then, it is day eight. Everybody's had some water. Everybody has had some food. An important start to the day then, but... Unless one of these comes in... Oh, okay, these should come in with some water. That means we'll be alright for tomorrow. We'll be alright tomorrow on food as well, but the day after, we're going to be short on water and food. This is like bloody Frostpunk, this, or this war of mine. But I'm hoping that if we can get this research done, then we can solve, may be able to solve the food problem. Won't be able to solve the water problem particularly, unless we can go and find another one of those water towers to, uh, to, to uh, um, salvage from. So we've got a fishing boat. We need one of them. What do we need? So we need some we need some rope. We also need metal plates. Right, okay, so that was that's not quite gone as well as I was hoping. We can get some rope though. We can cue some rope. Um right, we need to move on somewhere though, don't we? Um I wonder if it's worth going to one of these buildings over here. Because we need to get a view on what's around us. What's this thing here? It's another bookshop. No, we don't particularly bothered about that. It's costing us a reasonable amount in energy to get here, but it is a necessary journey. What we got here? Rural ruins, electric shop, rural ruins. Okay, so there's quite a bit here. We've got an electric shop here. We've got some ruins. Okay, here is... Oh, hello. What have we got? A highway. Interesting. Um, do we go to the electric shop first? Will we find any metal there? We might find some metal on the highway. I think... Uh, actually, we've got enough water for a day, haven't we? So let's go here. We're all right for a day. Three food three scraps so this is 17 so this is 20 so this is four journeys that's nearly done that's nearly done that's nearly done so we're going to have to go up to six water 
We've got two more, three more food being worked on there. How are all our drifters? Does it tell you, like, how many... Here we go. So this gives you an idea. Uh, expertise gain is flipping away. Got his own home, discovered some new tech, scout a new area. He's ate a yucky meal, he's thirsty, and I'm all wet from swimming, so... Those are the modifiers that are currently going on. One or more of the birds will leave soon, because he doesn't have a home, I'm... I was going to suggest. There's not a great deal I can do about it, mate, because building you a home is fucking expensive, so... If we bug us off... Just set him free, anyway. There's, there's literally nothing for us to build right now. At the moment, this is just... It's almost about keeping our head above the... Uh, the precipice here until we can I hate to say it but we kind of we kind of need she's minus four that can we just tell her to fucking stop doing this I know it needs doing but um yeah we, we kind of oh oh Stefano thank fuck for that I thought one of my people had left one of my drifters had left you know, we kind of need more people because we need to get more research points to be able to unlock things that will benefit us and actually make things easier, in theory, anyway. Um, metal scrap. Metal scrap. So I wondered, do we need something to turn... So we've got storage yards, scotch watch tower. Increase the visibility, the school Ah, oh, that's where I saw books, finally. At the, almost at the end of episode two, I finally worked it out. Turns books into experience. Interesting. So does that mean the nine books we've got can all be used for research points? Um, that's probably worth unlocking just for the boost in happiness that it will give people. Um... Fish washer. Cleans and preps fish into various ingredients. Reduces uh, pollution. So we've got the bird chow. We've got the chop shop. So all these things. Um, but it doesn't appear that there is anything though. Electro crafter. Produces solar panels. Generators batteries. Oil refinery that produces oil. There's nothing, apparently, that produces metal plates. So that would suggest that we have to scavenge it from somewhere. So my bet is going to be um, that highway. Um, we'll give him... We'll give him another salvaging point. Right, is that place done? Just five pieces of dry wood to go. Cheese off again. So we got nine food, five water. So a day for uh, water, two days for food. But it's bad quality food, so it's not com totally and completely ideal. Right, he's back on. So uh, where to next? I kind of feel. How are we doing on resources? We've got four floaters. 21 wooden planks, so we're doing okay-ish on that. We probably don't need to worry about that just now. But we do need more water. So that is where we are. Are we actually going to be able to make that? I don't think we are. We've run out of... Right. Here's our problem, then. We're going to have to turn that off for the time being. We, need to turn that... we, we, turn... we had turned that off, didn't we? So we need to get that turned back on. So that we can actually drive this way. This is going to be a very, very slow process. And I think it's now night time. Right, okay, well we're going to end the episode there. We're, we're keeping our head above the water there. 
on that episode just we have effectively found a way of of water supply by raiding those water those uh, leaking water towers food at the moment is okay if but it's you know if it's not, not a bad quality it is bad quality food that we're giving people but it's food nonetheless um but i do think that we need to take the plunge or take the risk and actually get more people because more people more jobs can get done we can get research points quicker um the offshoot of course is that you risk the the food and water situation because you then have more mouths to feed so we'd have to be a little bit more strategic and a little bit more clever on how and uh, what we do where we go to salvage etc but yeah i'm enjoying this a lot uh, we're going to keep playing this so i will see you all on the next one thank you very much for watching please hit that like and subscribe button let us know in the comments below what you think of uh, of the game if you're enjoying it you want to see us playing more and we'll see you all in the next one